Hi everyone, thank you for checking out my latest video. So um, I hope you're all keeping well. I want you to close your eyes for me and take three deep breaths in. And on the third one, I want you to pause for about six or seven seconds. And then just slowly breathe out. But every time you're breathing in and breathing out, imagine as if you're breathing in calm, clear air. And then you're breathing out calm, clear air. So if we can do that three times, breathe in. And breathe out. Breathe in. And breathe out. And the third time, breathe in with that pause, breathe in. And breathe out. Keep your eyes closed to me. Keep them closed. I want you to pick a number between one and four. Don't overthink it. A number is going to pop into your head between one and four. Okay, we've got the number. And we shall begin. So I sat down and I picked cards from different decks and I asked for um, guidance for us all. You know, not looked at the cards. So here we are. So if you picked card number one, interesting enough, you picked a card of Prairie Dog. When I say interestingly enough, Prairie Dog is a card of retreat, you know, and, and kind of sort of like recharging the batteries, which I guess with lockdown, most people are kind of sort of like, um, you know, stuck at home. But are you really relaxing? Are you taking time to, to nourish you and nourish your soul? Um, it, it's about the stresses and strains of life. There's a lot going on out there. There's a lot of news. There's a lot of things going on, a lot of worry, a lot of anxiety. If you watch the news, it's never really positive, is it? It's really kind of hard in as soon as it's on. Bam, 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 you know, enough to knock us all off our perch. So if you've got card number one, you need to, you need to ask yourself what's... Um, not, what people news all those things how is it affecting your health and your vitality it's important you recharge really recharge you know you need your strength you need your energy you need a strong immune system but also you just need to kind of sort of like not not absorb yourself in too much of um of what's going on there you know, it's not like ignoring it because you know what's going on, but it's basically saying you need to switch off. You need to take some time out. Not about lockdown. It, it's a, it's deeper than that. It's saying that maybe you're getting stressed. You get anxiety. You know, you know, if you go out and about, you go to supermarkets. It's very dif different now because you're in the queue and stuff like that. But try to try just try to work on the breath try to keep the mind calm try to do things that keep you very much connected keep yourself very kind of um the mind clear talk to people that inspire you and uplift you at the moment as well because before you know it prairie dog will come out and ready to run around but will come out differently as well really so prairie dog knows when it's the right time to move and when it's the right time to sort of like stand still and recharge in the sunshine. You know, so if you get out in the garden, a bit of fresh air would really work. But yeah, it's time to connect to the, the, the real essence of who you are and what you want and where you want to go and what you want to do. But this is this this the most important thing at the moment is is to ask yourself, is situations of, of what's going on is it really affecting me now it's going to affect us all really you know but it, you know some of you that have picked up this card need to really really work on switching off connecting your phone off maybe turning off the computer just reading you know and, and just breathing and sitting in your garden or 
or open the window and just breathe in some fresh air and, and close your eyes and, 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 and just send some healing out to the universe, send some healing out, you know, don't be in fear, send positive thoughts out to, you know, things changing, things, things moving forward, some healing to yourself as well, you know, be gentle with yourself. That's card number one. So if you picked up card number two, you have got the turtle, which has come out of your shell. Turtle's also the card of Mother Nature. Whether, you know, you can walk around in nature by the sea, and if it's just your daily walk, or you can potter in the garden, or you have a plant um, next to you, you know, connect with nature in many forms. Look out the window and look at the sky, you know, and, and, and just connect with the nature of what's around you. Look out your window and if you can't get out, you can see a nice view. Even if there's not a nice view, go on YouTube and put on a, um, a video of a country walk and, and look at the countryside, you know, and just absorb it. But turtles more than that because it's about diving into the bigger ocean of your life, but going deeper into the areas of your spirituality. What are you here for? What are you about? What is it you want now? So you're gonna go down to the next level down. It's not gonna be just about having a nice car and a nice home. Yeah, those things are lovely. There's gonna be more depth to it. So if you picked up turtle, you will be feeling differently, looking at your life differently, want things differently. It's, it, your, your glasses, your eyes in a sense are clear, you are looking clearly. If something doesn't work for you anymore, if being in a relationship doesn't work for you, if where you live doesn't work for you, you know, if, if your job doesn't work for you and stuff like that, you will slowly start making these changes when the time's right. It's a really beautiful deep calm. Don't stay with the status quo if it doesn't work for you or because of finance or because of this. Turtles calling you, and as a real, uh, I think people who picked up turtle will go through some very strong changes in their life. But you know, and some of it might be just kind of swimming blindly, unsure exactly what I'm doing, but I know I've got to make this change. And you will see something magical, very much to do with the earth, connecting to the earth, a bit like um the card of prairie dog switching off from what you're hearing and connecting into the magic of the universe and the magic of power of thought in law of attraction so make sure you're on that page you don't want to sink too deep because um there is dark and gloomy you want to kind of be in the middle where it's beautiful and green and blue and all these beautiful things fish will fly swim by you which are the ideas creating your new beginning because life will be differently you know, but it doesn't mean it has to be bad, it can be quite magical. So it's time to go off on your magical journey now. Card number three, for you, you, for you the picked out card number three, is the card of Love Matters. There's some very deep cards today actually. This is connecting right into the heart chakra. This is asking you, where is your love? Are you fulfilled with love? You know, I'm drawn to this kind of like boat that's there, you know, waiting for the rivers and the rains to come, which they will, and then the off it will go. The leaves will suddenly appear on the tree. You know, until then, we stand still and, and, and she's connecting to what really matters in her life. And it's about love. Is she fulfilled with love? Is she fulfilled with joy? Is she fulfilled with happiness? Or has she just been living a life that's been um, uncomfortable, unfulfilling, um, boring, not joyful? Now it's time to connect into the love. It's all about love. It's all about your heart. Who fulfills you? Who makes you feel happy? No more staying with someone because you know, it's safe. Be honest now, as we know, life is very fickle and can be over very quickly. So this is a time now to really connect to what you love. Are, 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 
Is there a passion that you want to bring out? You know, um, do you love what you do for work? You know, remember that life will eventually get back on track. And then you can start to work on your magic, you know. If, if you're worried by what's going on around there and you've got a business on that, maybe things will diversify and change. But the, the sea will come in, the leaves will come around on the tree, things will bloom again. They really will. This is just kind of sort of like pausing us um, and it will make us really look at life differently and diversify, uh, you know, in, in many ways or forms. But basically, I think if you pick this card up, you, you definitely will be thinking about your heart, what really fulfills you. And you'll be on a journey to fulfill that. And so you should. So you should. Quite, quite a creative card, I feel. Quite an artistic card. Quite a, a magical card for um, the arts, creativity, for love. You know, maybe some of you will get pregnant, maybe some of you will get married, maybe some of you will end a relationship but you won't be so sad by it because you know actually it's the right thing to do. But also as well with you, also connect to the spiritual, you know, connect to the bigger picture, the spiritual path, the thin veil between the living and, 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 and the other side, the person, there's a very been there. We are all linked spiritually. We're all linked um, on this planet, and we're all, when we pass, we're all still linked, and we are linked to our guides and to people in the spirit world. So sometimes you, you could just sit quietly and really connect into that energy. If you've lost someone, want to throw them around, or you just want some guidance, just sit quietly and ask for some guidance and see what comes to you. But this is about love, this is about your heart, what really, really works for you. I have to say, strong feelings is card, if you, it's just about earning lots and lots and lots of money. You're just not going to get fulfilled. You've got to go deeper now. You've got to go deeper. You have to let go of um, the way you feel, the way you think the world should be. Because actually, it's going to be different now. You can't control everything. The only thing you control is your thoughts. And make them positive. And think about anything and everything that makes you feel joyful and happy. And that's what you should bring in. I think a lot of you may get quite some ideas about where you want to go in your future, where you want to be, what you want to do. And that's a really, really good thing. But go with the heart. Go with the heart now. It's all about love. love. Love matters. And as you can see here, my rose quartz are out. So it is all about love. But it always is about love. So this card's a beautiful, magical card. So are you ready for card number four? And card number four is Kuan Yin of Let It Go. So is it time to just get rid of rubbish? Crap? Go through the wardrobe, let go of things that really you don't need anymore, a negative thought, a way of thinking, you know, um, do you need to stop trying to control everything and just go with the flow a little bit, you know, do you need to let go of the fact that you're always right or, you know, you get offended so easily or, you know, it's time to let it go. People are going to be different now and people are going to look at life differently. And, and, and this is this is moving you forward. You're gonna glide along into a new phase of your life. A new sp this is a very spiritual awakening time. And it's time to let go of things that, actually, that you don't need. So why would you wanna take a negative thought, a negative person, anything negative into the next phase? Why would you wanna do that? No, um, I should just sail into a, a new time and just be the same and start feeling that more uncomfortable. So it's time to let it go now. If you're feeling sad, if you're feeling blue, you know, and, and this has been something around you for a while, not just since all what's going on there, it's time to let it go, time to let it go. Maybe it's time to, to let go 
of the fear of trying something new. Maybe it's time to let it go, the fear of stepping out of your comfort zone. Maybe it's time for you to, to eventually get out there and, and meet your soulmate and stop thinking, oh, I've been hurt so many times and this always happens. Let it go. Let it go, let it go, let it go. And maybe, like I say, if it's just letting go of um, a fear or worry or anxiety about, oh my God, your weight or how you look, let it go, let it go, let it go. Let it all go now. It's time to let it go and breathe in some new energy and some new air and connect to your spiritual side. I mean, as always, we should always connect to our spirituality, but those cards are quite deep, and I think it's important that we do connect to our faith. You don't need to sit at church. You can just connect in and listen to your instincts. You know, connect to nature. If you're, if you're allowed out and you can walk in nature, absorb the energy of nature. Absorb it all. If you can't, um, like I say, go onto YouTube and watch a video and put nature on there. Watch something, what, you know, just absorb, absorb positivity and switch off from negativity. Switch off from it now because it's not really helping us. Switch off from the news. Too much news. Very off. Too much news is affecting your health. And your mental health is really important. Right. I'm picking out one more angel card for us all, okay? So, let's see what we have here. We have got a card of intention. So, what we all need to do now is put some positive intentions out there. Get out of fear, worry, positive intentions, healing out to the planet, healing out to the country, healing out to your town, healing out to people you care about, healing out to the universe, that's what you need to do, intentions, everything's okay, everything's okay, I am calm, I am safe, I am well, I am abundant, I am joyful, I am love, positive affirmations are really, really going to work now, put some intentions out there, this is a strong part for intention, so if you live in fear, you're going to have fear and negativity around you so positive positivity now put those intentions out there okay positive thoughts let's all put healing out to the planet out to the universe you know put healing around your family and friends to keep them safe put healing out to the planet imagine like the planet is vibrantly healing and you know in and this virus and all that is going to disappear and go, you know, which it will eventually, you know. So, but but what I feel very strongly, because I'm quick getting the the prairie dog in my head. Let don't watch the news. Switch off on social media if it's affecting your mental health. Watch positive things. Watch a positive film. Watch if one of your favourite films. Put on some great music that uplift you. Just keep doing those things, but connect. To the bigger picture now listen to get some spiritual advice go in listen to a spiritual teacher talk um and you know read up a little bit more about about an area that, that you find exciting you know um think about how you want to change the decor in your house or you know or how you want to embark on that new job think about all these things stay away from fear worry stay away from the news and all those things because you can hear one negative story then you hear another one then you hear another one then you hear another one and it's really affecting you and it's important to keep our mind clear so anyway i want you to close your eyes i want you to do one big deep slow breath in for me i want you to pause as long as you can and then I want you to breathe out and I want you to breathe in love think of love think of the word love so breathe in love hold and breathe out love
Because I'm very much drawn to love. So green, heart chakra, like I say, nature plants and stuff like that. Wear green, um, have green around you. Like I say, connect with nature, green, the love, the love. Vegetables and, you know, and, and eating healthily and stuff like that. Connect, connect to the heart. Put your hand on your heart and just sit there for a few minutes and breathe in deeply like I told you to. And just feel the heart chakra, you know. Do some stretching so you're opening up your chest and you're know, opening up the heart chakra as well. It's all about love. You know, so I hope these cards um, help and help you along your way. I know, um, like I say, it's still a strange time out there. But just watch what you're absorbing, all of us, because we are really getting affected by everything that's going on out there. Because it, it, there are some sad stories. There are a lot of sadness we're hearing. But we will get through this. And um, it's time to go deep, that deep level, that spiritual level. It's time to go a little bit deep now and really connect with our true faith and follow our true path, not anyone else's. Anyway, I'll speak to you again. Keep well.